Why not go to work for me? Doing what? Why, helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks. Food and supplies? Who for, like starving people? Oh, well, they're not starving yet, but they do need help. Well, how long would you need me for? Two weeks. What's the pay? What's fair? Well, I'm, I gotta make at least $1,000 a week. Brendan Fraser plays a naive young man who spends 35 years in a nuclear fallout shelter in the 1999 comedy Blast from the Past. Hi, I'm Ray Pletcher, and this is my review of Blast from the Past, a quirky and inventive comedy that starts out in the year 1962 at the height of the Cold War as a quirky scientist named Calvin, played by Christopher Walken, builds a massive fallout shelter for his family underneath his home. It's happened! Ah, look at that heat! Oh, my surface indicators! Knock that! Oh, Lord! And when a plane explodes over his home, he mistakenly believes a nuclear holocaust has taken place and locks himself and his wife in the follow shelter for a set time of 35 years in order to wait out nuclear radiation. Christopher Walken's character and his wife raise a son who was born in the follow shelter who was named Adam. They raised the boy in a sheltered existence with Christopher Walken passing on his 1960s worldview to his son as the world above them continues to evolve with a diner being built above their home that eventually turns into a bar. Once the timeline catches up to 1997, we find Adam, played by Brian Fraser, to be a naive young man unaccustomed to the realities of the real world eagerly awaiting the chance to leave the shelter and explore the world and meet a girl. The locks finally do disengage and Adam's father goes up first to do some recon and from his perspective the 1990s culture is a warped society that is the aftermath of the nuclear holocaust. He tells his family it is too dangerous to leave the shelter but he suffers a heart attack and his mother eager to leave the shelter tells Adam she must stay with her husband but that Adam needs to go up into the world and gather some supplies. So Adam ventures out into the world, and what follows is a series of comedic moments as Adam is a fish out of water in the 1990s post-Cold War culture. Adam does meet a girl bro named Eve, who is an eccentric character who can't keep a job and finds herself to be shallow, but at the same time is tough and resilient. Adam, who falls for Eve, much to Eve's initial resistance due to his simple worldview, recruits her to help him gather supplies. And what follows is a comedic love story between the two as she falls for a guy unseasoned by the harsh realities of life. And Adam, in turn, has a fascinating character arc as he evolves from boy to man in the ensuing adventure. Go back to the hotel. Yeah, before I kick your ass. I must warn you, Cliff, I do know how to defend myself. Oh, do you? Stop ah! it, you two! I nice suppose. Really? Uh, yeah, he's right. Maybe we shouldn't fight him here. I agree. <laughs> Adam! I'm sorry! He was gonna... Blast from the Past is an excellent comedy that really showcases the evolution of history itself from the 1960s Cold War era to the more modern times. Brendan Fraser is an excellent leading man in this picture as he perfectly captures the innocence of his character while also delivering the complexity of the character he portrays as his character evolves from a boy into a man as he grows up, albeit this is a 35 year old boy evolving into a man. The other stars in this picture around Frasier include performances by Christopher Walken as his dad and Alicia Silverstone as his love interest Eve, and both are phenomenal. Nathan Fillion even makes an appearance as Eve's jerk ex-boyfriend, which makes for some great comedic moments. The chemistry between Frasier and Silverstone is dynamic and perfectly energizes the movie and prevents it from becoming stale or static at any point. Overall, I think Blast from the Past is an exciting and fun comedy which is worth checking out and one that offers a unique historical perspective from the Cold War era to the more modern era of today.